Good morning, I'm John Pugh, and I'd like to welcome you all here this morning. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to our lower level family room, which uh, this particular corner uh, contains a lot of memories, a lot of memorabilia from our family and times past that uh, evokes many fond memories. Uh, first thing I want to share with you is uh, my grandmother Pew uh, Bible. And actually, I can't read much of it because it's in Swedish. It was given to her in 1898 at her uh, first communion. Uh, my Swedish is very limited, limited to Taksamita and Smorgasbord. So, uh, but it does evoke many fond memories of being with her uh, in her front room and front porch, uh, playing her piano, which I now fortunately have that uh, is in our family room upstairs. So many fond memories uh, of my grandmother Pew that her Bible helps me remember those things and bring those back. Um, here's an interesting little item. It's a canister of the remains of our first dog Sparky uh, who passed in 1988. But, uh, what a wonderful dog she was, and I uh, have many fond memories of her. In fact, uh, we loved her so much, we uh, named our current dog Sparky. It just seemed to be a fitting name, so we had a Sparky 1 and Sparky 2. Unusual item here is uh, four decks of cards put together. Uh, my mother put together. The cards are well-worn because we played many card games as a family up in the north woods of Wisconsin during rainy days when we used to all vacation together as a family, my brothers, brother and sisters and their kids and uh, it was a game that she came up with called May I and uh, I think many people know it as books and runs but uh, we had a lot of fun and, and a lot of good memories from uh, playing that card game. Interesting little item here looks like a lumpy piece of clay. Well, that's because that's actually what it is, is a lumpy piece of clay that I put together in kindergarten in 1953. And my mother uh, put a note on the back and saved it, and it was obvious from an early age that I was not going to be an artist. So uh, uh, it just uh, brings back memories of my mother in uh, those days. This was my favorite uh, golden book back when I was uh, a youngster, the Choo Choo Train. But uh, it's amazing what she used to keep. Uh, interesting item, my baby shoes. I don't have many memories of that, but uh, it reminds me of, of family time. But uh, they used to take baby shoes and bronze them and, and keep them. So those are my bronzed baby shoes. And uh, finally, uh, my dad's Bible, King James Version, of course, but uh, he spent many an early morning, uh, 5, 5.30, he'd get up and, and have his Bible uh, reading time, his devotion and prayer time, uh, long before the family would get up. But uh, I have many fond memories of my dad and his uh, devotion as a, as a wonderful Christian man uh, passed away many years ago from from cancer but uh, these are things that that help us evoke memories I have one other thing here I have here a cup of uh, fruit of the vine and some uh, a cracker which represents uh, unleavened bread and the memory of this is of Jesus 1st Corinthians 11 tells us that Jesus took bread and broke it and gave thanks. And he said, do this in remembrance of me. And after the supper, he had the fruit of the vine. He said, drink this, and as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. So even though we have many physical things to remind us of our families, our friends, uh, great memories of the past, Jesus gave us these to remember him. Each time we take communion, the unleavened bread and the fruit of the vine, we are to remember him. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we uh, each have many memories of
families and days gone by and uh, the physical things around us remind us of those things. And uh, this is human nature, but Jesus, knowing that, left us these to remember him. So as we come together on the Lord's Day, we uh, weekly, every time we come together on the Lord's Day, we take these emblems, the simple emblems of unleavened bread, the fruit of the vine, to remember his body and blood that was given and shed for us that we might have eternal life. Thank you, Father, for your son's sacrifice for us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As one of the ministries supported by Central Christian Church in Rockford, Illinois, let me just begin by saying thank you. Year 2020 marks 51 years of ministry for the Avalon Children's Christian Home, and we're delighted at the way God sustains us and has caused us to grow over that amount of time. And, you know, if we get to be the hands and feet of Jesus, it's because someone has sent us. And so thank you for your partnership and being the one who sends. I know that in Oblong, Illinois, and I'm betting in Rockford, Illinois as well, 2020 has started out just a bit rocky, but we know God is still good. And quite frankly, I believe that probably this pandemic and, and some of those shelter in place order has caused us to be more laser focused. And maybe we're even doubling down on, on our mission. And we believe in the, in the things that we're doing every day. We believe in teaching God's truths. We believe in building healthy relationships. We believe in showing unconditional love. And we really believe that God has made each of us unique and special. And we ought to develop those talents in the kids that we're serving. And so we're trying to do that every day. 
During the times of restriction, we have really spent a lot more time on the horses. And that's been exciting to see. We're taking trail rides and some of the kids are learning new skills on the horses. And I know that gives them a lot of potential for more growth and we're excited about that. And we've also really tried to focus in on interests of kids. And we've got a lot of fishermen on our campus right now. So they've been out on the lake and they've been standing by the shore and we've caught a lot of fish pretty recently. And we've also seen kids to step up in other areas. We're teaching them some skills. Our new transitional living facility is under construction. And so there are some kids that have learned a few things. And, and those same kids maybe are mowing the campus or they're um, tree trimming or any number of things that, that we need to do to keep up with 60 acres of property here in Oblong, Illinois. The other thing that, that I really feel like we got to focus on is the fact that this is a Christ-based ministry. And so we celebrate the fact that in the last six months, we've seen two young people baptized and in their growth and in their maturity, we've also seen three high school graduates and two eighth grade graduates this spring. So as we round out spring and head long into summer, we will just keep on fishing. We'll keep on praising. We'll keep on serving. We'll keep on doing the things that we do right here at the Oblong Children's Christian Home and on our campus in Fairfield as well. And we pray that you find those things that, that you can do that would allow you to love the Lord your God in, in the same way that we do so that those around us see and want some of that. Again, thank you so very much for supporting the Children's Home and for coming alongside us in ministry to children and families. Have a wonderful day.